Howdy folks. How about we go from this little motor on the CNC machine to <laughs> more power. Yeah, well, let's do this. Boom, yeah, there's there's two big announcements really going on here this week. And this first one here, this is uh, this has come down in price. It has come way down in price. In fact, right now you could pick this thing up for around $529 from two trees. Yeah, it's the TTC 450, and it is a like as you can see, it's a large CNC machine. For that price range, it's competitive, very competitive price at this point. And so I'm kind of surprised over that. I did not did not see that coming. But the second thing was Two Trees is now rolling out an upgrade kit. And the upgrade kit for the uh, spindle motor here is, uh, you know, again, boom, wow, you know. There it is. Now, we got to talk about this air-cooled, yes, brushless, uh, 500 watt, and it has a, a top speed of 12,000 RPM, but the upgrade kit also comes with a speed control box. So now you can be looking at metal and or hardwoods. Don't ask me about the metal, because I don't have any aluminum here to screw up on right now or some blades or something to work with on it, but yeah, yeah, metal. And in fact, this is rolled out so soon, a lot of other YouTubers that do this particular machine uh, they knew about the upgrade kit in some cases, or some of them didn't, and they were saying, well, we're waiting to see your sh your show because we don't know, you know, and I said, yep, the upgrade kit is here. Two Trees sent this over a couple of weeks ago and made me promise I wouldn't show it till the first week, the first week of April. This is April 2nd, third, whatever, close enough, right? So we're in April. Hey, I, I can show it now. <laughs> Uh, there's no price, so you you sort of be you'd be a little bit stuck maybe to you know do the buy it now thing right now because there is no price on it. But the uh, the new spindle motor is a nice upgrade spindle motor itself without even talking about you're replacing this little guy. This guy was I think it was 180 watt or something, and I think it was 8,000 RPM. So you're picking up a huge amount of speed difference for cutting or you know and also it comes with this uh, cabling kit and a, like I say a separate control speed box so it looks like it's going to be pretty awesome and the first thing I'm going to have to do is get this out of here and adopt to the new motor yeah that's that is so cool <laughs> okay to, so to install the new upgrade kit obviously remove the uh, the old clamp and the old motor and everything you had I set the old cable the wire back here but this is going to come back into play so don't lose don't cut this off for some weirdness okay don't go crazy on me the new kit is all gonna, is going to include this plate and this plate has a slot in it which obviously is going to fit over top of these right here these rollers and it's going to go right here it's going to go in about the middle of the uh, road it almost looks like two trees had this figured out or calculated you know before they release this and they give you some tools and some screws to put the new plate and everything in place so obviously you're going to have to put then there's actually six screws yeah count them six screws that are going to go into this thing obviously next next piece is the four bolts with the screws going through here and this is all one piece with a space on this side so again you shouldn't have too much trouble with it. and again two trees supplies you with a nice heavy allen key wrench to mount this with so we'll get this mounted and then we'll do the motor so i've tightened these two up and locked them these two are on the loose side still they're not tight I've slid the motor in. Now, I'm gonna bring the wires to the this side here, same as the clamp side here, and I'm gonna put the motor up, I'm gonna put it approximately center. If anybody has a better idea or a comment on that, you go ahead and comment. Because right now, the plate is at the lowest point. It's on the limit switch, so obviously, uh, yeah, you really should not have this thing any lower than that because you'd be, well, you'd be driving a tool bit into your spoil board. I don't think you really want that. So we're gonna go with the center. Uh, there's no instructions at this time from Two Trees about the installation on this. At least I, there was nothing in the box because they're rolling this out. This is so new. Yeah, we don't even have instructions for it. So, you know, uh, everybody pray for me. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so we've got the motor clamped up and it's now, like I said, it's about center of the body of the motor here to the clamp roughly at this time because there really wasn't, uh, there's no idea as to exactly where all this is going to go just yet. And then we've got a plug. Let's get into that. 
I guess the next step. Uh, two tree supplies this cable, and you're gonna see there's a connector that matches what's off the motor. So you're obviously just gonna look at this. You can see the pattern, so you know it's gonna snap together. But you're also gonna see these, and this is uh, going to go back to where the motor was. Now, when you do this, unfortunately these colors don't make any sense. So I've got a solid green and a solid red, and I'm gonna put them together and see if we blow something up. Yep, and we also have the red with a black stripe and green with a yellow stripe and I guess we'll put those together at this point. Again, I don't have any instructions so we're just like playing this by ear. And then uh, I'm going to try to clean the cable up a little bit here on the back side with a, with a cable wrap and just put it together on the back here just so everything is kind of, uh, I guess we'll say contained because uh, you're gonna be running the cable all the way back off the machine, obviously back to the speed controller. So there, there we go. That looks pretty decent. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Final note here, uh, when I come across to the backside here, you wanna make sure, and this gets kind of confusing, but you wanna come down here to the bottom of this where the chain cable's at, so that you can follow with putting some uh, cable ties through the chain and come all the way back here this way. It kind of crosses over a little bit. It's, it's, you know, it is what it is, as they say. But I actually could use a couple more ties just to really clean this look up a little bit better even. But uh, the other thing uh, was I turned the ties in a little bit too, away from everything so that these little pointy pieces or whatever don't drag across here or get snagged in here or something. And just take a look at all this and make sure you have lots of, uh, I guess we'll say free play here that nobody's gonna get into anybody that's running these wires. Uh, next thing we've got to do is let's check the uh, motor. I've heard the motor is supposed to be really quiet. All right, I've got the microphone. Yeah, I've got the microphone on and nice and loud. Uh, let's go to spindle. I don't know if you can even hear that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take it up to full speed. That way it'll be nice and loud. But... Yeah, that's not bad. And down again. Wow, that's about uh, set halfway on the control box right now and you can bring the speed of the spindle right down to where she's just sort of creeping along on a quick side note too uh when you remove the old motor make sure you take the tool bit out first it'd probably be a good idea and switch it or whatever you're going to use yeah. on another happy note before we start uh because this motor is so elongated this way you could set this motor at a custom height that would allow you to take the motor, you know, all the way up into here, which is higher than the old setting. So you can get the tool bit up over top of something higher if you need it. Or if you had to go lower, I wouldn't recommend lower because I had it pretty much as low as it was going to go to the bottom limit. But I uh, just thought I'd point that out that that gives you, you know, that much extra flexibility in that motor to where that tool bit can be set before you do the, uh, well, I did my positioning already and whatever, so we're getting ready to, you know, do a little fancy cut here. On another note, uh, this is sort of simple, stupid, but at the same time, your motor uh, is no longer governed by your software. So in other words, when you set your software up to do a, you know, you're setting up your tool path and everything, you know, just put 6,000, 10,000 RPM or whatever in the spindle motor because you, it doesn't matter what is going to make the difference is this right here is going to control that spindle motor as to how fast or how slow it's going not the software package at this end so like on universal g-code i just send set it 10,000 rpm it doesn't matter if i've got this set for max then i'm going to have 12,000 rpm regardless obviously don't set your spindle speed at zero <laughs> it won't work okay the next thing i've noticed uh, immediately is with that 12,000 rpm i'm using a very small bit very little depth i think i got about 0.2 of a millimeter or something into the wood but the detail and the clearing is really much better because i don't have a lot of sawdust or junk and it's cutting the fiber of the wood better that 12,000 rpm does make a difference especially like on soft wood Okay, what I did there was uh, I just threw a job on a piece of hardwood. This is some really hard stuff. And I set the V-bit in and set it kind of deep. The little guy, little motor that used to be on here used to struggle with a, a setting like that. 
Uh, this one here, I checked this, there was, you know, there was only a little bit of heat and she pushed the V-bit right on through. So the 500 watts uh, and the speed, of course, it makes a difference. It makes this machine a lot more uh, CNC router uh, happy. Oh yeah. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Better price for this machine, but also more speed, more power available. And the whole system is, yeah, you know, it complements each other. So I'm pretty happy with that. The first thing I'm going to do is I will give you a link in the description below to where you can find this and where the deal is at Two Trees right now for this. Now, I'm also going to give you the link to where you can find the upgrade kit. But as I've told you, I, they don't even have a price on it right now. So if you hit like buy it now or something, it just takes you off the page to a, an Easter page or something for the time being. So I'm not sure where all this is going to land. Uh, th I've got a special thanks to Nibbin over there at uh, Two Trees for sending this over to us right away so we could show it today on the show. And the other thing uh, I wanted to do is I'm going to check with them and maybe they'll give us a coupon code or something to go with the, uh, yeah, you know, so check back. If you watch the show today, whatever, check back 24 hours, 48 hours or something and see because I might have the link for like a coupon deal or something like that for this uh, upgrade kit. I have a feeling that the upgrade kit won't be fully launched until maybe as up as close to April 15th. So, yeah, we may have some time on this yet, but uh, I really wanted to get this out to anyone that has one of these machines. There's an upgrade kit, you know, in the works there coming. And also anyone that's thinking about buying one of these, you can buy it and you've got, I guess, a future in it because yes, you can upgrade, you know, you don't have to go out and get the Makita. That's what everybody else buys, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's measure this up and just see what that whole size is. I almost forgot, ah, uh, 52 millimeter, if that sounds vaguely familiar. It, yeah, yeah, there is some uh, other systems out there that are, oddly enough, that size. <laughs> So if you do get the upgrade kit and you decide to whatever, <clears throat> you have a 52 millimeter clamp system that will work with this. So again, uh, wow, you know, this has been uh, on the hold for a couple of weeks. been kind of excited to show it and I'm so glad we got a chance today to do this. In the meantime, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell for we have giveaways. I think this Thursday we're giving something away. Get in on those contest draws. We give away tools. You know, it's a cool thing. Over and out. <laughs>